Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about Oakley Games and today we're going to be playing Sonic Adventure. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and started up Gamma's story and his story has a lot of cutscenes that I really love and I hope you guys enjoy them too. Anyways, in this episode we're going to go ahead and continue on with the story and see what we get to do next. So now we're going to get to do something that we didn't really get to do in any of the other stories. We're going to explore the egg carrier a bit. First of all, we have this uh, door right here that's locked behind a password. And the password is Eggman. Which made sense in the Japanese version because obviously that's his name. But in the American version, Eggman is a nickname that Sonic gave to Eggman. So it's weird because... Why would Eggman put that as a password? This is an entrance to the Chow Garden, which is something that I didn't that I'm not going to be talking about much this let's play because I'm not that knowledgeable on it. I know that's a lot of people's favorite parts of these games, but I don't know too much about it other than just take a Chow, put it in the Chow Garden, play through a level and then give them the uh, animals that you get from breaking open robots. Anyways, I think this is the ammunition room? Nope. Uh, there are two rooms that look very similar. There's this one, which has an upgrade that we'll be getting later. And then there's one on the opposite side of the ship, which is the actual ammunition room, which has the upgrade that we're trying to get. Right here. Here's the jet booster. Press and hold the jump button and you'll float for a while. So yeah, now we have basically a hover ability which will be helpful when we're going through some of the more platformy sections. I see you got the jet booster. Report to the rear of the ship. Hurry. So now we've got to get over to the rear of the ship and we're going to take this little hover car up to the top of the ship. Now it's time to fight against Sonic. And that's it. <laughs> Sonic. 
Master Robotnik. Enemy. Master registration deleted. E series. Friends. Must save. Now we're completely free, and it's time to go take on some. Well, we're gonna go save our friends by also attacking them. Which may not make sense if you don't know much about Sonic, but basically the whole plot of the games is that Dr. Robotnik is going around and he's kidnapping all of these animals, forcing them into the robots that he makes, and then have them go around and do a bunch of evil stuff like search for the Chaos Emeralds and also make all of the wood plate like all of the foresty places more metallic and city-esque. I don't know if the words I'm using right now are even the words, but you get the gist of what I'm trying to say. So our first E-Series robot that we're going after is this one right here in the, uh, I forget the name of the level. Windy Valley, that's right. Now we're going through here, and this place will be a lot easier, both with Gamma's targeting system and with the hover thing, the uh, the jump booster, I think it's called. That's what I wrote it down as in my notes, but I don't know if that's what it's called. I'll put up on screen what it's, what it's actually called. So, interesting thing about Gamma is that uh, his level started way before where it typically starts for Sonic. Like, with other stories, whenever it comes to levels that Sonic went through, they, they either started at the same place, or at a place much later in the story, like with Tails' stories, and uh, Amy's stories sometimes, I think. But with Gamma, this one started way earlier, so you get much more level, and you just get to see a lot of different parts of this level. It feels like a much different level than the uh, level from Sonic's story. Sorry for all of my stuttering, and plus, sorry for me saying level like 50 times. Anyways, this is E-103. I don't know the name of that symbol. So here's our first brother, the one that... Uh, was, that looked at Gamma right as he was being zapped away, and so it's the one Gamma wanted to go after first. Also, can I say, I forgot to mention this, but in the last episode, with, in the really good cutscene, I love the voices for all of the different E-Series robots, I just think they're really funny sounding. Now the side of Angel Island just got blown up, so that means we're either going to go into Ice Cap and we're either going to go into Ice Cap or Red Mountain. Of course, I know the answer to this, but I just want to build up suspense for you guys. This time around it's going to be Red Mountain. I think this might actually be the last level that we do on Angel Island in the entire game, so let's make this one count. So previously, before, we'd have to get upgrades to get rid of this uh, monkey robot right here, but now with Gamma, we can just shoot him and he's done. <laughs> Red Mountain, Stage 4. Get more of this awesome music. And we are moving through this extremely quickly. After this, I think we only have two E-Series robots left. And then we have the final fight. And then that story's over and we move on to the finale. I wish I could roll like across this tilted mountain, but alas, Gamma's too slow for that.
So yeah, as you can see, the jump booster is sort of like a replacement for Sonic Spin Dash, because it just allows you to not really zoom on by, but it allows you to move to places where you wouldn't normally with your average jump. Kind of like how we do with Sonic Spin Dash, how we'd spin and then jump and, you know, get flung across the map. Jump down into this hole, which leads us right on over to this weird hallway with a bunch of spiders. This sort of gameplay style might be familiar to you if you've played Sonic Adventure 2, because this was reused for another character in that game. But yeah, now it's time for E104. I don't know that symbol either. I know it's for whatever E is. It's like E... E something. Like, probably pronounced like A something. There we go, he's down. I'm surprised that the animal inside of the robot can survive this huge explosion, but I guess that weird bubble thing around it is probably what's protecting it. Epsilon, that's what it was. E-103 Delta, E-104 Epsilon, rescue mission accomplished. E-105 Zeta, E-101 Beta, location unknown. Perhaps aboard the egg carrier. So yeah, now we've just got Zeta and Beta left. So, now I have a question. We saw Gamma in Knuckles' story having just exited Red Mountain and going to the Egg Carrier, but now I'm wondering what he was doing over there, because that's in between the Beta boss fight and, you know, doing stuff in Emerald Coast. So I'm wondering, what was going on with that? Like, was that just Gamma searching for Froggy, maybe? I'm unsure. E -series data. Shelter. E series location confirmed. Unlocking hot shelter sector now. I don't know what that song was that played while Gamma was searching for the other E series robots, but that sounded really good. Anyways, now we not only have we not only have two E series robots left, but we also need to get our final upgrade of the series so weird to say because this is probably going to be our last episode before the finale and that's not how that was supposed to work. So yeah, next episode will probably be the finale because we've just got two fights left and then we move on to the final story. Now, I remember that we want to head over here. This was the part that was filled up with water a while ago. But now... Here's your laser blaster. Its blast damages enemies in a wide pattern. Now all that's left is to head into the hot shelter. Our final level in the game.
We start with what we've started with before, which is the elevator leading down to the actual level. We got some awesome music, which reminds me of... I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the Sonic OVA. I know uh, a lot of people really love it, and I did too. But... Sorry, I just got distracted by the fact that every time you collect an item, Gamma says, obtained item, and so it started overlap overlapping when I started shooting a bunch. But the start of that song, or even the section that's playing right now, reminds me of the a song from the Sonic OVA, which if you haven't seen, I'd highly suggest it. It's really good. There's a lot of Sonic stuff that I need to both play and see. I haven't seen the Sonic 2 movie. I've really wanted to see that, but I just haven't seen it because I keep forgetting to watch it. And, you know, I've got other stuff going on, like school and, you know, doing YouTube. I've al I also want to read through the IDW comics because I hear those are really good. I know there are a few issues recently that people aren't liking because of the writing, like the issue where Sonic says Big Oof which weirds me out even thinking about it now. But I really wanted to go through that, and also there are a few games that I hear are really good, like uh, I want to play through the Sonic Rush games. I really liked uh, Sonic Colors on the DS, and I, th I know that's like the third game in the Rush trilogy. I also want to play through Sonic Unleashed, like I've mentioned before during this Let's Play, but, you know, I want to play the actual version on the PS3 and... Xbox 360. I got I got the correct Xbox this time. I think. There's also what was that one other game that I wanted to play really really bad? I forget. Speaking of really cool Sonic stuff, have you guys played the uh, Sonic Triple Trouble fan remake, the 16-bit Sonic Triple Trouble thing? Because I've only played through the first couple zones, but from what I've played so far, it's really, really good. I know that's how I'm describing everything right now, but I don't know, that's just my best descriptor for it. It's really, really good. I, I got stuck in the item thing. It's interesting how Sonic went from having their items in monitors to having them in whatever they have them in now, these like glass containers. It reminds me of the those when you'd go to the dentist office as a kid and then you'd get a coin that you could put in a machine that uh, would give you like a small little prize, like a ball or something like that. I don't know if other people had those at their dentist office offices. And crud, I died. Sometimes this last part can get pretty hectic, and also you're on a timer. Because typically in Sonic levels, it counts up, and then once you get to 10 minutes, they're just like, eh, you're taking too long, we'll just kill you. But right now, there's a timer counting down to your demise, so you want to quickly move through this. Speaking of quickly moving through stuff, that train just speeds up and becomes extremely fast at some points. Anyways, we force stop the train, which leads us over here. You want to get this checkpoint, because if you die, it'll just bring you back here, and then it'll give you more time. Hop down into this hole. And then there's... you got to destroy some of these boxes over here. And I'd say just destroy these monkey robots just so they don't, you know, get in the way. And this is our final, not final boss. E-105 Zeta. I believe that's the correct thing. This one is actually can actually be kind of tough because you can't just spam B. Well, you can, but you have to actually go around and hit certain parts of their robot body. But... You know, it's tougher than most of the other bosses, but that's not saying too much. E-105 Zeta. Rescue complete.
Now it's time to head to the front of the ship, up onto the roof, I guess, of the ship, and take on our final boss fight. complete units remaining gamma Beta. This is E one oh one, Mark Two. So this guy is actually pretty tough. First he starts off with that charging attack, which you can immediately shoot him, and that's basically your indicator that you can shoot him. I like how there's no word said before this final boss fight, just an understanding of what needs to happen, and I think that cutscene that, you know, played when we came to the top of the egg carrier is also really eerie of just Gamma realizing what he has to do to ensure that, you know, all of the E-series are destroyed. This, on a on a way lighter note, this theme song is incredible. Or, not really theme song, but this, this boss fight theme is just really good. I'll let you guys listen. But with that comes the end of the final boss fight of the final main story. Mission complete.
Yeah. Plot twist of the century. Gamma and Beta were the parents of the bird that Amy had been had follow her around for her entire story. But yeah, that's such a sad end to probably one of my favorite characters in the Sonic Adventure series. I forget if I mentioned this at the end of Amy's story, but the files for the game actually gave the birds names. Like, the blue one that followed Amy around was Liddy, uh, the red one that was inside of Gamma was Patty, and the yellow one that was inside of Beta is Teddy. So, if you want to use that as those birds names then go ahead it's much better than just the bird that was inside of gamma or the bird that was inside of beta or the bird that followed amy around <laughs> but yeah there's not much else to say other than that just a really great story i'll let you guys listen to the credits music and i can't wait to have you guys watch the finale for this series. Yeah.